Peyronie's disease is a very common condition. Clearly it's not discussed uh, because of the nature of it, uh, but it dates back to three or four hundred years ago uh, when first described by Francois de la Polony. The cause of it is unknown. People have various theories, perhaps an injury during sexual intercourse, perhaps a genetic or a familial type of problem. But in reality, we don't know the cause of the condition. And that's what really makes it a little bit more difficult to treat if you don't know what's actually causing it. In the early stages, uh, it's, there's inflammation. And because you've got an area of inflammation, when you stretch that area, it causes pain and patients often feel the first thing that they feel is that I've got pain in my penis. That inflammation starts to scar down uh, and once you have scar tissue on the penis the scars don't stretch uh, and therefore a deformity occurs towards the scar. Patients often can feel this scar tissue known as a plaque um, and it can vary in size and consistency. Sometimes it can feel quite uh, fleshy in nature, other times it can be really, really hard and calcified. Uh, patients are often worried that they have a, a penile cancer. Uh, stop. Uh, a penile cancer. Um, the condition occurs in up to 5% of patients. It uh, usually occurs in patients in their 40s and 50s as of age, but I've seen it in patients in their 20s and 30s. Uh, so it can occur at any age group uh, in a sexually active man. Uh, it can be quite debilitating, not only the deformity, the erection problems, but also the psychology. Patients are often devastated that one minute they have a straight, normal erection, the next minute they have this twisted uh, phallus uh, and are quite embarrassed to actually show their partners uh, the deformity. And so consequently that has, uh, that, that has a sort of a detrimental effect on the relationship and uh, may cause uh, outright Depression. 